so in the previous video uh, we discussed how to create these tables now uh, let's start with uh, the designing stuffs and things like that uh, so initially uh, I think uh, it would be better if you create a login form for the users right then the users can log in to the account or re uh, register with the account and things like that so initially I will uh, start I will uh, show you how to create those functionalities uh, but again these are more related to HTML and CSS because we are dealing with the views so I'm not going to use any sort of library over here for the styling so but if but if you want you can use bootstrap for uh, any sort of a uh, CSS framework or library associated with our framework but I'm just going to use plain HTML and CSS okay so let's see how far we can go now uh, I will uh, delete or oh, I don't delete this stuff but uh, I will create a new controller for the user sorry users.php so you can simply copy this stuff and do the necessary changes as well so users so initially it will be like this and the public function um, let me quickly check my documentations Oh uh, yeah. Give me a minute. Yes. Yeah. First, let us create two functions such as a name as login and or maybe initially let me create the login form, okay? Or maybe let us let me create a registration form because uh, first we need to register our user, isn't it? Yeah. Um, moment. Yeah. First, let us register our user. But uh, for now, I will just use a bulk data. Okay. Uh, so I think pages controller. We have this view, right? Uh, and I need to extend this to the controller. And uh, Let's say this is uh, view and uh, let me create a new folder known as users uh, then we register.php so inside this register.php I need to call this footer and header accordingly right so I will be having header and associated footer then uh, I can call this view we register but now it's in the um, users table users folder right so let me quickly check users sign up let's see and users register okay so user sign up 
you wish there. Now uh, we need to have some sort of a top navigation bar as well. So I'm not going to do all the styling, so let me quickly search top navigation bar HTML CSS. And I think in the W3 school they have a nice looking uh, top navigation bar like this, but uh, you can have your own one as well. So I'm going to just go here and copy these content okay. So before that I need to declare another includable component. Um, so I will move the footer and uh, header outside of the component folder because I think it's more obvious. Uh, header also outside the components so I need to remove these stuffs as well just uh, the about right uh, then we have this so inside the component uh, I will make some component known as top nav bar .php. so this top nav bar will be having this top navigation like this then we need to call this top navigation to our page so if we having the top navigation i will i can simply call uh, so first I will make a comment because it will be more readable then we can simply call the require over here but in this case it's include components and it's top nav bar <coughs> you can simply go over there and click refresh so top navigation is there but still we don't have uh, stylings because we haven't included the CSS yet. So again, I'm going to create my own CSS framework inside our PHP framework as well. So you don't, you can improve your CSS framework as well. So how do we create a CSS framework? <coughs> again, we need to properly modularize it. Otherwise, uh, the development of your CSS framework won't be pretty much uh, easy. Therefore, I will modularize it as going to the public CSS. So I'm currently in the style folder. I'm going to modularize it for each component. Components. So I created the component known as top nav bar. <coughs> so I will create a style link sheet known as top nav bar style. CSS. So inside this top nav bar style CSS, I can use these top nav uh, stylings like that. Okay. Uh, <coughs> sorry. Like that. Then. Uh, I need to call this specific styling sheet to this uh, main styling sheet. So how do we do that? We can simply import another CSS to uh, this CSS file. So it's in the components folder and top navbar styles. So I will name it as uh, components. Okay. So this is our CSS library or CSS framework. You can name it as the way you want. And I can simply go over here and click uh, refresh. See, now we have a top navigation bar. <coughs> but these are the default details. So I don't need to have these default details. Therefore, I will change 
the top nav bar details as yes. maybe this is login and register and uh, maybe log out okay. right login register and logout is there so obviously i don't need to uh, enable these three buttons for each time <coughs> so it must be either only login or only register only logout something like that so i will show you how to do that as well uh, but i think currently we don't need the logout therefore i will simply comment it yeah now we have these two things Mm. but uh, maybe they are can be having a far better navigation bar as well something like this top navigation bar this one is responsive uh yeah you can either use this one as well or you can make your own <coughs> top navigation bar it's completely okay and uh yeah this is the top navigation bar uh yeah in the uh, maybe in the next video i will show you how to create uh login forum inside this view and uh, yeah thank you